Okay, so here we go with the ultimate music quiz. Believe it or not, this is actually a PS2 game and it's very basic, it's very cheaply made. So let's get on with it. The idea is to get through three rounds of eight questions each and you're allowed, uh, you've got three lives throughout the, uh, the whole game. And you're allowed to use a 50-50, like who wants to be a millionaire, like a joker as it says on the screen. So uh, anyway, yeah, as you can see, load times are a, a load of shit. Top of the charts. Okay, and here we are. We're ready at last. Player one, get ready. Press X to start. Beyonce Knowles is the lead singer with which American band? Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child. Hey. One down, 23 to go. Next question. Which of these songs by Kylie Minogue was released in 2003? Slow. Boom. Question three. Which group had a hit in 1987 with Wanted Dead or Alive? Hmm. Torn between Bon Jovi and the class, but then it could be Drew Springsteen. Let's use the Joker. Oh, great. Bon Jovi. Hey! That's the Joker gone for this round. Whose album Boy in the Corner won the Mercury Music Prize in 2003? Who the friggin' hell is gonna know that? Boy in the Corner. Dizzy Rascal. Had to be, didn't it? Had to be. Question five. For which film did Jerry Halliwell record It's Raining Men in 2001? Bridget Jones Diary. Well, Keris Matthews is the lead singer with which British band? Catatonia, 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 Catatonia. Question seven. Who, re who released We Are All Made of Stars in 2002? I don't know, I've never heard of that. We Are All Made of Stars, Moby. Hey! Last question of this first round. Tell him was a collaboration between Barbara Streisand and... I don't know. I've no idea. Annie Lennox. Probably wrong. Balls! Did you know Whitney Houston has had more consecutive number one hits than any other act in the history of rock and roll? That's probably an out of date fact, but anyway. Moving on to round two, here we go. Who released Knowing Me, Knowing You in 1976? Oh, come on, everyone knows that one. The Bee Gees. Endless Love was a collaboration between Diana Ross and... Oh no. Don't know. Stevie Wonder. Bollocks! One life left. Not even halfway for the game. In which year did Beatles release their hit single, or release their hit single, Hey Jude? Oh, come on. No chance. 66. Eh, <laughs> eh. Piss. There you go, 23 points. I've, I've no idea how the scoring system works. Let's give it another go. That was a practice. Who released the hit single, All the Young Dudes in 1972? Not the Hooper. Let's sketch you on that one. Question two. Eurovision, which musical performer sang the UK's entry one step out of time? 
Or Nancy Nancy Sue. I don't know, it's not Sonia. Oh, that helps. Fred Newton John. Fred! Which group had a hit in 1981 with It Must Be Love? Love, love. That's madness. And it is madness. The squiz. So you see, just how cheaply made it is. Paranoid Android and Creep were both hits for Radiohead. Whose album, What's the Story, Morning Glory, sold over 4 million copies in the UK? Oasis. In which year did Christina Aguilera featuring Missy Elliott release Car Wash? I don't remember that. Oh god, it's not 1998. 2002. <laughs> Excellent. One life left, but I'm still on round one. From which country did the band Sugar Cubes originate? Iceland. Bjork. See if I get this last question of the round right. Bernard Sumner's the lead singer with New Order. Well, at least I made it through round one. Ding. Did you know Rod Stewart's Have I Told You Lately That I Love You was written by Van Morrison? No, it didn't. I also didn't care. Round two. Typically, how many strings are there on a banjo? Could have been, it had to be more than four. Holiday and Into the Groove were both hits for Madonna. Spelled Cindy wrong. So there's so many typos on this game, it's unbelievable. Question three. Who released the hit single Superstition 1972? I wonder. Stevie Wonder. In which year did Kylie Minogue release Confide in Me? Unbelievable. It's got to be 1994. She was only six in 1974. Which of the following is not an album by David Bowie? Oh, no. Seems to be fitting. Kind of magic. Isn't that Queen? I don't know. Well, I shouldn't have used my joke with it. Whose album Bad sold over 3 million copies in the UK? Michael Jackson. Not George Michaels. And not Michael Bottler. But Michael Jackson. Two become one was the 1996 Christmas number one for the Spice Girls. Dumble. Right, last question around two. Goodbye was the oh that's the Spice Girls again. Be witch. No, Spice Girls. Hooray, made it through two rounds and I've still got one life left. Did you know three international hit songs have had only one character in the title? U, Seven and X. Fun fact. Final round, here we go. Material Girl and Like a Prayer were both hits for which singer? Madonna. Who released the hit single Sylvia's Mother in 1972? I have no idea. First thought is Dr. Hook. Yeah, Dr. Hook. 
Hey. <coughs> In which year, oh, okay, okay, did Madonna release Papa Don't Preach? 1986. Eurovision. Great. Which country won for the first time in 2001 with everybody? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is where it all ends for me. Cyprus. Wrong. Ha! Ah. Oh well, I did better that time. At least I got to the final round. 50 points. Yeah. Don't know how it works, but anyway. That's the ultimate music quiz.